Hey, this is Cliff from CT Mad Mods, and today we're gonna rebuild that transmission that we pulled out of Kyle Samurai. I'm over here at Todd's shop, and uh, thanks to Brandon Fowler over at Suzuki Samurai of America, we got all the parts that we need to put this transmission back together. Let's get it. As you can see, we smoked that input shaft and uh, that front bearing is gone. And it messed this gear up too. We're gonna change all that out. Brandon sent me a brand new shaft and a brand new input shaft and all the new made in Japan bearings and everything I need to rebuild this transmission. So I'm finna push this, uh, push this bushing out I just am not sure which way it goes, so I'm gonna pull this seal first off. It's in there pretty good, all right. So I'm told that that little bushing gets worn out and then your rubber seal starts getting jacked up from your shaft. From it being back and forth movement. Right, and then it starts to leak, and I've changed that thing twice. Don't drop it. Todd, do you ever drop that thumpin' up? <laughs> I've dropped the thumpin' up a couple of times. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we're pushing that, we're pressing that bushing out. Oblongated. Well, no. I wonder, like, um, you see how you got your little crisscross stuff yep, there? Yeah. On this side, there ain't none, but on this one, it's kind of the same. You got them little crisscrosses yep. in there. I don't know. Yeah, to carry the earls. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't look horrible, but you need me to hold that? Um, yeah, I'm going to this one. With my groovy. You don't have one. Groovy, groovy. <laughs> it's not groovy at all. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> He's getting it. Yeah, he is. What size vice is this? Five or six? I have no idea. Five. I got a five inch at work. Somebody gave me. Yeah? Yeah. You know where, um, what's the Extreme Auto or whatever it is on Dowling? Across the street from him, okay. there's like a homeless camp, like in that yep. parking lot yep. right there. So I was passing by there and they, you know, uh, you know when you have like a pedestal for like a grinder or for a yeah. vice and it has yep. like a big metal yep. base? Yep. Rim. There was a nice one. It wasn't even a rim. It was a nice one, like a bought, a store bought one. No kidding. Sitting out in that parking lot with all them cars. I stopped and I picked that sucker up. <laughs> it must weigh a hundred pounds. And I put it in the in my samurai and drove ah. off. <laughs> What'd you do with it? I mounted that five inch vice. I got a big oh, vice. Oh sweet. Yeah, I mounted that vice on it. Uh that's what my vice is mounted to at the house. Yeah. It looks like a it's got a metal base yeah. and a pole and like it's got the right yeah, yeah. six inch by six inch little hoo ha. The well, the grinder is on one there. Yeah, but yeah, that's like a rim. Like people build yeah, them, but yeah. this is like they bought it. I'm not saying it's snap on. I'm right. just saying they bought it. Uh. Anyways, them homeless people had it. They're probably gonna sell it for scrap. I went and stole it from them. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. You didn't get that out of there? No, and it didn't move. There's almost like there's just nothing to hook. 
This I'm, is gonna shut the whole operation down, Todd. Well, I, I'm trying to be really careful. Sure, I get that. That's so you might have to strange. collapse it. It's very strange. You might have to collapse it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this here first. And then I'm gonna break out the big dog. I don't even know what the big dog is, but buddy, it don't sound good. Something with a nice sharp edge, but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to catch the ding. Todd, I feel you 100. Okay. Uh, Are you messing my camera up? Well, no, but the thing was in the way. Oh, that sounds good. I don't know what you did, but it sounded good. I it sure felt like it was moving. It had a good sound about it, Todd. <laughs> I made a, a relieved one one time that would go in and grab. It did it move at all? Mm, it like it. Yeah, like a little hook on it? Yeah, so I could get in to the side, so to speak. Like, I just don't want to get the case, man. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, is it? Let me, let's go the other way. Let's see if I can collapse it. Or, or at least then I right, have something right, right, to right. grab onto, right? I'm not digging looks the like, bottom. No, of it the... looks like you're collapsing it. Yeah, yeah look, look, yeah, there's yeah. a big gap right there. Uh, but I, I'm not digging the bottom on the vice, am I? On your surface, okay. No, you're not getting too crazy, Todd. Crazy with the cheese whiz. Will Smith said get diggy with it. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. the business. I like that. That's the business right there. Now we got something to bite. Now we got something to bite. Where's that little? Uh, Do you have the? I think I left it over yonder. The one, which one? The, the hook with the hammer? Maybe. The, maybe. I don't know. The fry bar. Todd, you pay the cost to be the boss. Flip that bad chicken over. Who am I even? I mean, do I, I don't even work here. Uh, okay. Uh, I end up saying that a lot because I got a lot of friends that have <laughs> businesses. And I walk Just hang out over there. Yeah. And they go, I'm trying to do whatever. Wow, I don't even work here. Dude, I think it's hilarious when you're in here and people come ask you, hey, Correct. where do I get this? Did you have one of those? I don't know. I don't work here. Uh, don't really work here. No, they send me messages and messenger. Awesome. You work it ass, right? Nope. Keep working on it. That sounded solid. Oh! Hey! There hey! He goes. That was solid. Hell yeah, bro. You scratched oh. my case a lot. Oh, dude. Oh. Why are you even bending over? I'm it was you reaching. Didn't, you didn't scratch my case off. Don't catch him. Come on, let me see. Yeah, Show me. You didn't scratch it at all. Now, oh, are you for sure? No, you didn't scratch it. Now, whenever you put this in, okay. make sure you put it in the right way. Oh, that's fantastic. There's one little ding. I got little we don't care about dings. Here. Little teeny ding in there. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. You did a great job. Are you going to remember how to put... This very bushing happy. in? Very happy with that. Yes, sir. I, well, if I don't, I can always measure it. Yeah, don't break my case. Yeah, you know what? Now we can do this. Ah. Oop, there it is. Ooh, you're going to have to let it go up, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, please. The lubricant. Oh. Oh. better oh man beautiful Stretching, stretching. Out. I got to stretch out there, younger. Okay, so this is the piece 
that's supposed to come off of there, right? right. So you get so a we got this off bearing. And then this has to go. This has to come off so that can go yeah. out that way, There's right? There's splines on this. Look at the bear look at the shaft over there. Right, but how do we get that out of there? You like get, how Oh, because this comes this. off and then you can feed it out of there, huh? There you go. Just like that there? Yep. That's right. I see, said the blind man. Melon Chitlin. That is why they pay you ten dollars an hour. Okay, so get a bearing puller. Pyong. <laughs> Strotter does that constantly now. That's good. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Pyong. Pyong. <laughs> There we Boy, go. that thing moves when you put some lubrication in it. Yeah, a little Let me catch that case. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I'll just grab the whole thing here. Oh, yeah. And I can feel that gear's loose already. It's probably going to fall off. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, yeah. Nope, that's got to come off. Yep. It has to. Uh, we've got a different puller here. Yeah, I think that's what everybody does it with is a two jaw puller. I hope I got one deep enough here. All right. So we got a two jaw puller. We got a puller. I got a three jaw puller too. And a three jaw. And a three jaw puller. Uh, I never realized how much I chew gum. Really? Until I uh, edit a YouTube video. No way. <laughs> and I hear myself and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. So stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, she's coming off is of there. She, is she coming off? Yep. Oh, I see it. I see it. Glorious. Heck yeah, baby. Hey, hey. You done with all that? Yes, sir. Clean motion. Ready to assemble. Uh, why are we doing this? What, what, like, you got one in there, you got one in yours. Is this for a spare or something? Uh, my front, I think the front main bearing on mine is getting smoked. It's starting to wind Oh, up. that's what you were talking about today. Right. Ah. So the, the one that's in my Samurai is getting smoked. Very nice. So this one's going in yours. Yeah. Outstanding. As you can see, uh, Brandon Fowler from Suzuki Samurai of America gave us a bunch of... Uh, Suzuki Genuine Parts. Uh, we've got all new bearings, all new needle bearings. I've got a new input shaft and the new lower shaft. And uh, all those gears that got smoked whenever uh, Kyle smoked his transmission, so. Seals and clips. Everything. Spare. Man, we got everything. We about to do a full on Japanese rebuild here. <laughs> ah, here we go. So what were you saying about coil bearings? Oh, they are the good stuff, all right. Uh, yeah, they, they, uh, there's no expense spared here. That's very, very high quality items. And uh, we just wanna make sure it's going in there straight and flush and even. satisfying yes very nice tack fit okay so this is the next day i actually got it all put back together um we ended up having an issue <clears throat> and i think maybe i'll just share the video here when todd and i were putting that uh shaft together that goes in the bottom side well we're going back together there's um there's some gears that go right back here and we put them on backwards. Whenever we did that, we had to take it back apart. Once we got it apart, we found one of these C-clips and I had gotten an extra one because I had broken this one trying to get it off the front of the main shaft. When you take this um, housing off right here, there's a C-clip inside there and I broke it the other day trying to get it out. So Brandon sent me an extra one 
and I'm pretty sure this is it. I was beating the crap out of it with a punch trying to get it out of there and it's shattered. But anyways, I found that clip and I was like, where'd that clip go? So we ended up taking the entire thing back apart just to discover that we already had that clip. So we disassembled it and a two hour job turned into a seven hour job. And I literally quit filming because um, we didn't have a schematic. We didn't have, um, I didn't watch a video on how to take this apart and put it back together. I just kind of lined everything out. I've done a bunch of transmissions in my life. So is Todd. And uh, we just kind of lined all the gears out the way they came out. And um, we actually dropped um, one of the ball bearings a couple of times and we just started having troubles. And I literally quit filming um, just because it was getting late. It was midnight before we got out of here. Uh, I came over here right after work and I thought this would be a two hour deal. It ended up being a lot longer because we took this transmission apart three times. <laughs> Anyways, I got it all back together. Um, let me just show you what all Brandon sent in the packaging. I know I already kind of covered this, but he sent the input shaft. He sent this entire bottom gear because um, this was all chattered up and messed up. All new synchros, all new bearings, all these little needle bearings like this. The one that goes in the input shaft. Um, <clears throat> I got one of these bushings because mine's leaking. So if you got it that far apart, you might as well change it. It's 30 bucks. Uh, all the new bearings and you can see the one that was on the input shaft is just smoked So that input shaft is a goner <laughs> It wasn't that hard actually I think if we had a schematic uh, we would have taken it apart and put it back together a lot quicker I have to rebuild the one that's presently in my samurai. I have a whole nother rebuild kit. So that's going to be an extra transmission sitting around and I know it'd be a lot faster whenever I do it the second time. I'm sorry this wasn't more of a how-to video. I was more or less just documenting the process. Me and Todd messing around in the shop on a Friday night. I hope you enjoyed my video. We're about to go moose hunting here pretty soon and I've got to put this transmission in here in the next couple of weeks because I'm taking this thing moose hunting. So we're about to do a moose hunting video. This is going to be, we got some good stuff coming up. I can't thank Brandon over at Suzuki Samurai of America enough for all of the great parts that he provided, the great prices, fast service, and all of the technical support that he's provided me. I basically called him and said, I just need all of these parts. And I sent him a picture <laughs> and, he, and everything showed up. And he sent it UPS blue. I got it in Alaska in like two days. And I'm sorry I didn't go into too much depth on uh, how to rebuild this transmission. Uh, there's some really good videos out there. Ron Lucian at Fabin Adventures. I give him a big shout out for the the great videos that he's put out in the Suzuki world. Um, a lot of everything that I do, I watch his videos and just mimic what he does. So thanks, Ron, for all the videos you put out. If y'all aren't following Ron Lucian at Fabin Adventures, y'all should go give him a look. Anyways, thanks for watching my video.